Okay, so this is a walkthrough of the patch called uh, RecSeq OS, uh, standing for Recordable Sequencer with an Oscillator. A um, couple things first. Originally, so this patch has been um, this patch has been made for the Zoya as well <coughs> as the Euro Bureau and uh, so the Euro Bureau version used I had it going from a, a CV out and then I used a sawtooth back into the left audio in channel um, but I made it Compatible, more compatible with the Zoya because um, I wanted to provide both. So this is just a quick as I can walk through. I will try to keep it short. <laughs> um, so first off, there's a MIDI clock in module, and then we have MIDI notes, MIDI notes in, and uh, so then there's a button down here in the lower left corner. And that switches the uh, timing control from the, the MIDI clock in module to the uh, MIDI notes in module. Um, and uh, so right now you can see that the MIDI clock in is running the sequence and uh, on page zero. And page zero is called MIDI and select. So we have MIDI clock in, and uh, that is going to the, um, this is an in switch here because there's two inputs, and when I press this button down here, it provides a gate signal to a two-step sequencer, and this two-step sequencer is set to values somewhere between um, 0 and 0 0.5 and then the second range is 0 0.501 to 1 and by switching between these two values uh, right now that's 0 0.0870 and then the other one is 0.8286 by switching between these two values provides the gate signal here which um, uh, toggles the step sequencer because there's it, it toggles it back and forth between those two values and this CB out goes to the channel select of the in switch so that the first one here the in is connected to the MIDI uh, clock in and then the other one is connected to the gate out of the MIDI notes in and then so that again there's the channel select and this is the out right now it's flashing which means it's connected to the um, MIDI clock in. So if I press the green button down the lower left corner, uh, this is still flashing, but the um, output here of the in switch is not until I press a key right there. And then we can see that it also cycles through the step sequencer. Um, so that's, so what this step sequencer does is it is set to values, again, obviously from 0 to 1, but in increments of 16th. Uh, plus a little bit, I could have edited it later, but anyway, the first step is set to 0, and then the next step is 0 0.0625 plus 1 notch to the right with the rotary encoder, which puts it into the next level. And each of these are multiples of 0 0.0625 plus one little notch. I could have done it so that actually would have been easier to <coughs> um, put it in the range of uh, past 0 0.0625 um, because the values are inclusive. And if you put it on the inclusive value, the step sequencer doesn't run through um, to trigger an out switch on the next page. So, uh, multiples of sixteenths up to almost 
one, if you go down, this is 0.9421, go down one notch, and you get 0 0.9375, which is 1 minus 0 0.0625. So put that back up. And here's the gate um, for the sequencer. And right now it is connected to the, um, the MIDI notes in. So you can see the gate for it flashing as I press the key. And that cycles it through each of these values of that step sequencer. And the CV out from it goes to the um, goes to the channel select of the of this um, out switch. And the value of the um, the value of the C V input of the out switch is connected to the MIDI notes in. So I have that selected, go to the next page again, and there is that lit up, the, the, the um, uh, CV um, input of the out switch. And you can even see it says a MIDI notes in gate out um, from the last page, and it's highlighted. Uh, right there. So take that off. Now the the step sequencer of the previous page allows this out switch to cycle through each of the values and the MIDI notes that's put in here shows up on each of these uh, outs of the out switch. And each of these outs is respectively connected to their number in the step sequencer and the step sequencer uh, CV out um, well first of all uh, the gate here is also connected to um, should be connected to the uh, um, either the MIDI clock in or the MIDI notes and gate out uh, and that is determined it's switched between the two here uh, in this in switch module you can see this is bright now so go back to this page one which is called uh, set seek CV out <clears throat> so um, and as I press a key you can see that the both of the out switch and the step sequencer cycle through their values or their steps. Um, so if you're following along as to what this does <coughs> so far you can see that you might already see that there's a problem um, with this setup and uh, and I'll discuss that in a moment, but on with the rest of the patch. Go on to page <clears throat> uh, two, which is called filter in VC and VCA. Um, so the <clears throat> last bit um, on this page, the CV out of the sequencer goes to the um, oscillator. I placed uh, on this version um, for the Zoya pedal, <coughs> excuse me, um, I used uh, the CB out going to the Captain Big O module to take a, um, to use that as an oscillator. And that went back in. And then, so that would have connected directly to the SV filter here. The step sequencer CV out is connected to the um, oscillator frequency and then the output, the audio out of the oscillator frequency as you can see is connected to the SV filter. The SV filter is modulated um, by an ADSR uh, modulating the cutoff frequency and the output of the SV filter goes to the VCA. The VCA uh, has its level 
modulated by another ADSR and both of those ADSRs are controlled by the um, should be the uh, output of the end switch uh, actually I have it as the as the MIDI notes gate out um, and I think the reason I did that at this point is because um, the MIDI clock in has a 50% duty cycle. I think that's why I did that. So the um, and it doesn't exactly work the way I want it to. Um, so anyway. But uh, the ADSRs are still connected to the MIDI, um, MIDI notes and gate out. And uh, the reason for that is it makes it better to play. Right now I would fix the patch. I'll have to fix the patch later to make it a little bit different. So I'll go back to the VCA. The, on this version, um, the VCA out is connected to an audio left channel, audio out left channel, um, instead of the physical um, audio out, actually right here, the physical audio out um, of the Euro Bureau. This makes it <clears throat> um, compatible so that everything shows up on the grid. Um, of the Zoya pedal. So all that that. So back to here. The problem is right now um, that this out switch, whenever it cycles through, whenever it cycles through, um, the out switch, so it's so whenever it's here, so that value stays until the gate signal from the MIDI notes out turns off, goes back to zero. And what that does, so the step sequencer cycles through, and once the gate goes off, the out switch, the the previous value, so this value goes back, it, it would have been the value of the key, so if I go here, it goes to 0.3, um, the CD value for the, uh, um, presented at the input of this out switch, and then the next one, so now you can see it's still selected there to view, it went back to zero. And this one, I played the same note, so it shows up it's the same CV. So the problem is, is that because these are um, connected all the time to the uh, step sequencer, the notes that are played, they don't hold, they always revert back to zero, and so that's the problem. Um, so I will have to work on fixing that, but my point here is that there are a couple of things that maybe Empress will make um, to make a, so that a recordable step sequencer could be easier to construct, would be on the out switch, this green section here, if the each out, instead of reverting back to zero, once it goes to the, a different step, um, if it would hold the previous value instead of returning to zero, and maybe that could be a selectable option um, for the module, and uh, which a lot of the modules have selectable options. and. Uh, 
I think that would make this step sequencer work as it is. Um, the other option might be for the step sequencer itself to hold that previous value, um, but in that case it would really need an extra CV input. Um, yeah, it would need a CV input um, to accept MIDI note values. And that would be an additional feature added to the step sequencer. But it would function in a similar way, but you wouldn't need the out switch in that case. Um, it would just be an input on the step sequencer accepting MIDI notes, and every time the gate goes, goes to the next step in the step sequencer, and then it accepts that value, the previous value on the pre the, the value on the previous step holds. That would be the other option that I could see working to make a recordable step sequencer easier uh, to build. So that's the patch.